We got Sydney Brown right here. Um, Canadian. That's right. London, Canada. Then my research. How did we end up here? Was it in high school, right? Is yeah, yeah. So we made a little transition there um, early on when we were 16. Just some issues there that led us to moving to Florida and living with another family. So um, great transition. Ended up with great people. Um, surrounded us with the right people. Great head coach in high school. Yeah, man. Ended up making the moves to put us in the right position to where we are now. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, big question right here for you. Poutine. <laughs> What's that about? Is that so? You guys know what it is? I know. I so what? Gravy. Just fries? gravy, cheese curds over fries. Okay, and it's, it's, it's pretty it's good, man. You guys got to try it. That's okay. a heart attack and some clock. It's, it's literally a heart attack. Okay. in a okay. dish. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and is that something that you indulge in when you go there? It is. I stayed away. when I was younger. I was all over it, but okay. it's something I stay away from now. Okay, okay. I'll have it every now and then, but <laughs> all right. So we got it. So so Illinois safety. Let me ask you, when you see, what's your, what's your mind frame when you have an opportunity to either get an interception or a big hit? Because you have to calculate it so fast. Yeah. It's a bang, bang situation. How are you able to calibrate the perfect time to, okay, I got to go for the ball here. It's a weird angle. And I could go for the hit uh, and without putting your team in jeopardy because of a particular hit you take. Yeah. How do you calibrate all that stuff? I feel like it's something that you practice. It's all about repetition. Yeah. Uh, I think every DB would say that in this room. I think it's an instinct too. You know what I mean? Like you know how to hit, you know how to tackle, you know how to go get the ball. It's just about how you react to it. Um, I think at the end of the day, it's all reaction and how you respond to the certain situation that's presented to. Okay, okay. And then we've been having, I've been having multiple de- debates with people, and I'm not on the winning side, but I hope you can help. Is it caramel? Or caramel? I say caramel. What? I can't. I guess. I guess it's really not a thing. I guess it's. I think both both go. Both go. Both it's like go. tomato tomato. Who says tomato? Tomato tomato. <laughs> okay. Um. So twin brother, Chase Brown. You saw him win the John Portish Award trophy, yeah. which is something I also did into the best Canadian football player in college football. What's that like? Seeing your twin brother win that award. Well, he's done it twice now. Whoa! Yeah, he's done it twice now. Wow. It's a cool reward. It's a cool reward. Obviously, there's bigger things out there, and that's what he seeks for as well. Um, but it's always an honor when you get that representation at the end of the... Okay, okay. And then, you know, last thing I want to ask you, Sydney, is uh, when you leave the Senior Bowl, what does, what does Sydney have to do to win the Senior Bowl? What do you feel like you have to do to say, I love the Senior Bowl? Yeah. I think it's just paying attention to details, you know what I mean? Um, you know, working within the scheme and doing your job. You get the idea if you do your job in the scheme and you make the plays that uh, for, that come your way, and that's all you can do. Um, and for myself, I think it's just showing that I can play. I'm out here to compete, and I'm a true competitor. It, it actually, more. Um, I like to ask this question because I think it's very important. But within the four years you've been from when you, as a freshman to as a senior, not as not necessarily as a player, but as a man, how do you feel like you've grown from your freshman year? to today as a man where do you grow up yeah i think it's i think i've got a lot of not overthinking um you know just staying in the moment focusing on what's in front of you so that we can get too caught up in what happened or what's in front of us we're not focused on what's in the moment that takes away from the people around us it takes away from you on the field it takes away from everything in your life honestly that's why that's how i feel with that yeah. and then i think Doing more isn't always what's best. All right. Sometimes less is me. Yeah. All right. Well, look, appreciate you. Appreciate your time and good luck to everything you do. God bless you.